Hello, actually no, bonjour, bonjour, uh, and bonjour is just because I'm about to go to France and I'm about to go to Lyon for a 48 hours layover and that makes it so great because that's a very top wanted destination, many, many people send me swaps, many people wanted to exchange for this uh, destination, but I want to go there, it's a beautiful weather and it's a beautiful city so what i'm planning to do the flight is actually i think seven hours but it's gonna be very pleasant day flight so i'm gonna enjoy it and i hope the crew is gonna be also amazing because that's making the flight also i'm a little bit sick so sorry for me please and i checked up some stuff about Lyon. And I've noticed that very close by Lyon there is a cute little villages like Annecy and um, Charmony. So Annecy is this very French style little village. It's about 200 kilometers away from Lyon. And then Charmony is a famous French uh, ski resort with a view of Mont Blanc, so I, I'm not gonna be skiing this time, obviously it's summer, but I really love mountains. I'm not sure if the rest of the crew is going to be willing to go, but I try to do my best to convince them as I think that's gonna be a really nice trip for Lyon. And then we also have a second day because we're gonna stay there 48 hours, as I mentioned before. So I think there is still time to explore the city itself, Lyon. Let's see, I'm getting ready and I'll see you in Lyon. How they were renting the car for 600 euros for today? Two cars for seven, eight people. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Which deal did you make? The best deal. Ever. The best? The best. The best. Our precious, precious car for only 400 euros. Almost 400. Oh, there is uh, our uh, 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 second driver. <laughs> second okay. driver, Ina, and a second uh, bunch of tour. <laughs> uh, see you in Annecy, guys. 10 a.m. We have a car and we are starting our journey to Annecy. It's gonna be two hours of driving. See you there. Okay, so we have here the whole school trip going with two cars to Annecy first and then second picturesque picturesque if I could speak English properly <laughs> once a village with Mont Blanc view amazing and we have our driver from yeah, Kazakhstan who <laughs> 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 pretends to be in car from Kazakhstan we have also girls at the back uh, from Argentina there is Aline right? Alina 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 Dominika from uh, Slovak yeah. Czech Slovakia and we have Wakana from Japan and there is a second car behind us of our tour guide. If you want to open the window. That's a good thing. Yay, we reach such a beautiful place. Unbelievable this blow. We have arrived to Annecy, such a such a beautiful place. Very cute French little city. I'll tell you more about it. But first we need to find the other piece of group. First landscape that we saw is the crystal clear blue, cobalt blue lake Annecy. I think I've never seen such a color of lake in my life and the mountains in the background, just charming landscape. Yeah, five people, no one has the Wi-Fi, we just keep wandering and looking for a Wi-Fi or for our uh, second group. That will be interesting. I know that 
Annecy is called the Venice of the Alps and this is completely right. For me this is a fairy tale town, cute little city that has no more than 50,000 of people living here. What you see here is an uh, old architecture, cute little streams running through the city center and the uh, kaleidoscope of flowers. How charming is that? From I am such a big fan of this little city. I wish we have some more time here to adore all the flowers, boxes, to drink all the cafes, eat all the croissants. This little city has such a laid back and relaxing atmosphere that I swear I prefer it 10 times more than Venice. It's way more romantic and way less touristy. Now a new driver! This trip is so worthy because of the views on the road. At this point we can see Mont Blanc. You see this little white area? Oh, there it is. And we were all staring, recording, zooming, but believe me, it's unreal. The view was unreal. 11th tallest peak in the world the tallest mountain in the Alps and Western Europe. We have arrived finally to the beautiful Charmony. I hope I'm pronouncing properly. Look at the view behind me. It's just wow. Everywhere there is such a high mountains. Behind me now, I think maybe you can see it. It's the Mont Blanc. And this is the famous ski resort actually. This is like where the posh people are coming to skiing. Uh, we're gonna have a walk around, it's so picturesque here. On every corner, the cute French houses, of flowers, the weather is so hot, it's like 35 degrees or 30 degrees, I cannot say. And actually one more interesting fact which I found out, Mont Blanc, actually in French it means the white mountain and you can literally see that all the mountains are with the green trees, this one is white. Uh, even though it's summer, here it's 40 degrees, there is still snow. So. The Alps have fascinated me since I was a kid. I remember going with my parents skiing and I remember the elusive cape and jagged mountains, some of the most stunning places I've seen. On the top of mountain is six degrees. Six, six degrees yeah. on top of mountain? Wow. Yeah, so now we are wondering if we should go up with a cable car and see the view from the top. Oh yeah, we just gave up on the cable car. As, believe me, 69 euros for going there and back for everyone was just like Too not much. worth it. Like, we have the beautiful view here. <laughs> we had the most amazing weather. You know that one when the PR companies are sent out on helicopters to capture the beauty of the city? That was the day and we also weren't prepared for the weather that is on top, 6 degrees. So that was also the reason why we didn't go. Shermony is just charming, that's all I have to say. It's dedicated to have a nice and slow walk across the town. You can pop up into some of the cafe, try the hot chocolate and simply breathe the fresh relaxing air or even too relaxing. 
our tired driver needed a nap. How do you like the French atmosphere? I love it. You love it? I, I haven't got a croissant. croissant. And croissant, at least I tried the croissant, oh, which was very nice and oily, buttery. <laughs> was it nice? Yeah. Some of us prefer the romantic honesty, the others like the spiritual uh, vibe of Charmony, but we all agree on one. There was not enough of time to explore everything. We are coming back, our tired driver here. Yay! Everyone's so tired, even though we didn't do much through this layover. How are you doing, guys, there? Welcome, I hope you can see me properly as I had some problems with out of focus yesterday and today also. Um, anyways, uh, bonjour from Lyon, another day in beautiful uh, French city. Um, yesterday we've been to Annecy and to Charmony and if I could change something in these lovely days it would be just to slow down a bit as we were really really in a rush. Uh, I would stroll maybe more in this beautiful romantic Annecy uh, and Annecy it's like a bit of a um, like I said romantic city and then we went to Germany it's more of a, it's a smaller city definitely and definitely is it's a ski resort so has a different vibe but you feel closer to the nature there you don't focus on the a French old city but you focus on the stunning views of Mont Blanc and you focus on the nature and the uh, sun just coming through all these trees and oh my god the views were stunning and today we are planning to have a view of Lyon from above that's where we're gonna go I'm gonna go with my friend Vakana from Japan and we're gonna we will have just a quick stroll around maybe coffee maybe lunch and we'll come back to to dubai so that's the plan